What's up YouTube? My name is Trent and you are watching Well Done Tanks. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know we have the filterless tank going uh, with the wild blue alien beta in it. <clears throat> and this has been a lot of fun. This tank is awesome. Uh, it's been running really well and I was, at first I started trying to do it, you know, I was taking pictures every day to show the growth of things, but now it got harder so now we just kind of do some occasional updates every now and then. But the plant growth in this tank has actually been decent. But I'm running into kind of two problems. One of which is the floating plants I have on the tank, which is the red root floater and some duckweed, grow in so thick that the light won't penetrate down to the other plants. And <clears throat> that's the second problem, is that the light on the tank isn't the strongest, because I'm actually only using a CFL bulb on the tank, but it has grown plants so well, and has been so low energy. <clears throat> but we recently got some, uh, some micro sword from Bay Area Aquatics. He sent that out to me a few weeks ago and I've had it in the tank and it's been doing okay, but it's definitely not getting the light that it needs and like the water sprite in the tank is doing okay. So tonight we are gonna do an upgrade on this tank and I'm very excited for it because we are gonna try out a new pendant style LED light. I've been reading a lot about these. I actually first heard about this light, I wanna say from Peck Tech, his YouTube channel. And we're looking at the, what is it, the Lomni, the Lomni, but it's the Asta 20 LED light. Uh, all the reviews on this are great, and I think it's really a budget-friendly option for a nice pendant LED light for these smaller tanks. I wanna say I paid about like $40 for one of these lights, and there will be a, an affiliate Amazon link down in the description below if you wanna try one of these out for yourself. But I wanted to do a quick unboxing with you and get this set up on the tank for you guys. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I'm gonna guess that's gonna be a piece to actually attach to the tank. But I, re overall, this is a fairly Looks like it's just a simple light to use, and I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, and there is an updated version. You can actually get a, uh, a remote for, and we're in black shorts, that's a great option. They also have some, uh, some other products that they do, some saltwater variants of, of lights and different, neat, different things of that. So they definitely offer quite a bit in terms, so initial, the construction of this light is really good. Uh, it's high quality, this is all metal right here. This is a nice um, bracket, or I don't know what to call this, flexible arm, and that's a big plus for me. Is it in other, other lights, like you have to buy the arm separate, which is really annoying. And then it also has a nice remote here that you can do, you can adjust the brightness on this. So you can set this on a timer, so all the way, is that on? You know, it's off, so it's, you'll do, it is a switch, you will have to turn it, turn it on and off, but then you can also adjust the brightness on it. I think that's gonna be a nice feature for this light. So let's go ahead and get this kind of set up and tested to see how bright this light actually is. So you've probably seen this light in my videos that I've been doing for the filterless tank. <clears throat> it is a nice night, nice light. I found it at Ikea, but it has this big swing arm that I had to connect down here on the stand. So it's kind of an awkward light to use, but again, we're just using a simple CFL bulb and it's grown everything pretty well, but these plants down here in the corner, all this micro sword from Bay Area Aquatics just isn't doing great. And I really think that this new light is gonna help the plant growth really well, because I do want this to carpet out, and I want the crypts to fill in, the water sprite to fill in. So let's go ahead and get, get this installed, and we'll talk from there. So here we have the new light installed. I did turn off the rest of the lights here in the fish room. Just kind of give you a better idea of how this is really illuminating the tank. Uh, it is a very small profile, so this is the water box six gallon clear tank. And this light is, is very small. It does attach to the back of the tank uh, with that mount. There's a screw in the back that connects to it so that it is wide enough that it will definitely work with any rimless tank as this 
and also any rimmed tank you may have with the black trim and the bracing on it. So it is a very universally adaptable light. It's giving off good light. Uh, this is full power, so it's the swords are getting a little bit more light. Um, it's definitely kind of more of a spotlight effect, but for the price, I honestly think this is one of the best pendant style LED lights on the market. And that's what I wanted. I, I really looked at the uh, the Fluval pendant light, the 3.0 version, and the little square that would allow it to, you know, be you know, change color and everything else. But it just I didn't want to spend the money where I could buy two of these for the same price. So I really think that overall, I mean, the shrimp came to life in this tank. These are the, the cherry shrimp I got from Guppy Guru. We got a, a mono down here doing its thing. So I, I really like the the light. Like I honestly like how the tank looks. And we'll see how the growth is because these red root floaters were going insane with that CFL bulb on it. But I do think that this will be a great option and addition overall as this is a quality light for a budget price. So if you want to see future updates on this tank, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and if you got any suggestions on what you want to see for the channel, definitely leave me a comment down below. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.